Hey y'all. So I want to talk just a little bit about this Proverbs 31 woman, this virtuous, mighty warrior of a woman in um, rejoicing over the future, the latter day or the time to come, knowing that she and her family are in readiness for it. Now, this uh, and several cross references points back to Proverbs 31 21, which we've talked about. Um, and that one is that she fears not the snow for her family, for all her household are doubly clothed in scarlet. And we talked about um, Rahab and the teaching of our children and the Passion Translation. Of verse 21 says she is not afraid of tribulation for all her household is covered in the dual garments of righteousness and grace which of course covered by the blood of Jesus what is what I want to point out and talk about today and we might get into it tomorrow too is that they are well prepared and when do you prepare for something before it happens, right? <laughs> you don't wait until something happens and then prepare for it. You prepare, prepare before something happens. And so, you know, in the ridiculousness, ridiculous example that I can think of right now, it's of course we're preparing for Nathan. I, I'm not waiting until he gets here to buy diapers and wipes or to have a crib or bassinet. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to take a diaper bag full of clothes and the such as to the hospital. I'm not going to wait until I'm in active labor to prepare my hospital bag. Um, we prepare for things before they happen. And that is really key, especially um, in the lives of believers. We should steward the word, hide the words in our hearts, put it within our souls, keep it in front of our eyes, put it in our ears, so that in time of need, we already have it and we're not frantically looking. We prepare, prepare, <laughs> prepay. We do things before it's necessary, before the time. And so this Proverbs 31 woman has no fear because she knows that she and her family are in readiness for it. Do you know that you're prepared for the days ahead? Have you, are, are things right between you and the Father? Do you have question about his love for you or about your place in eternity or that he is, is watching out for you or that he knows your name or um, that you are his beloved? Do you have questions about that? Because now is the time to settle those things so that you are prepared for whatever lies ahead. And this is one of the verses, you know, that we talk about a lot well, because it just it's, it fits a lot. <laughs> you might have great words there. Um, Jesus is telling his disciples things at the Last Supper before he's taken to be crucified. And he says, um, I tell you these things so that in me, not in the world, in me, you will have perfect peace and confidence. He says, in the world, you have tribulation, trials, distresses, and frustrations, but be of good cheer, take courage, be confident, certain, and undaunted. I have overcome the world. I've deprived it of power to harm you and have conquered it for you. Well, the only way that you and I will ever know how he's done that and why he's done that and what that means to us as believers, 
walking in this world, living here, but being citizens of another kingdom, pilgrims on a journey, as Paul puts it. The only way that we're going to know how to walk that out is if we are in the word and we put it in us, that we prepare ourselves for days of trials or distresses or frustrations or tribulation because Jesus said you're going to experience them. But isn't that the opposite of what we're reading in Proverbs 31, 25? No. In the same way, again, ridiculous example, but I think it's going to get the point across. In the same way that the squirrel gathers nuts all summer long for the harshness of winter, they have what they need and are well prepared to go through the winter, the harsh and the hard. Because they have made preparations beforehand. Knowing the word and the father and clothing ourselves in his strength and his, not in ours, in his strength and in his honor and in his goodness and hiding ourselves under the shadow of the almighty. That's how we can know that we are in readiness. We are prepared for the days that lie ahead. We'll pick up here tomorrow. I'll see you then.